Hello students, myself, Dr. Divya Ghildiyal, in continuation with my lecture series for AKTU BTEC first year engineering physics syllabus, I will quickly discuss all the important formulas and numericals from your topic, laser and optical fiber. Quickly, sine theta maximum is equal to under root n1 square minus n2 square upon na. Numerical aperture is under root n1 square minus n2 square, where n1 and n2 are refractive indices of core and cladding respectively. Population ratio n2 upon n1 is equal to e to the power of minus e2 minus e1 upon k where k is Boltzmann constant. V number is equal to pi d upon lambda naught under root n1 square minus n2 square. Number of modes is square of V number divided by 2. Number of decibels is 10 log base 10 pi by p naught. Alpha decibel equal to 10 upon L log base 10 pi by p naught. Relationship between Einstein's coefficient a equal to b 8 pi h mu cube by c cube. Angular spread del theta equal to lambda upon d. Numericals. A silica glass optical fiber has a core of refractive index 1.5 and cladding of refractive index 1.45. Always the refractive index of core is more than the refractive index of cladding. You have to find the numerical aperture of this fiber. So the formula is numerical aperture is equal to n1 square minus n2 square. n1 is 1.5. You apply your common sense that if I put n1 as 1.45, then this value will come negative and square root of a negative will become imaginary. Hence, always remember n1 will be the greater quantity and n2 will be the smaller quantity. Putting these values, taking out square root, you can use a simpler form by using a mathematical expression a square minus b square is equal to a minus b into a plus b and get the answer. Okay, acceptance angle is equal to under root n1 square minus n2 square sine. And an SMI fiber is made with a core of diameter 10 micrometer and it is coupled to a laser that produces 1.8 micrometer light. Its core glass has a refractive index of 1.55 and the maximum cutoff number for the given fiber is 2.405. Find the maximum value required for the normalized index difference. Find the refractive index required for the class adding glass and find the fibers acceptance angle. Cutoff number is given by 2 pi a upon lambda into numerical aperture. 2a here is 10 micrometer as you can see in the numerical. Lambda is 1.8 micrometer and v is 2.405. So numerical aperture equals to v into lambda upon 2 pi a. Keeping the mathematical value, we get the answer. Normalized index difference is equal to half into Na upon N1 whole square. Putting the mathematical value, we get the answer. The cladding index required N2 is equal to N1 into 1 minus del. Maximum acceptance angle of the fiber, sine inverse of numerical aperture. A glass fiber has a core material of refractive index 1.47, cladding material of refractive index 1.45. If it is surrounded by air, compute the critical angle at the core cladding boundary and the cladding air boundary. Critical angle is equal to sine inverse mu2 by mu1. So it is equal to sine inverse 
1.45 by 1.47 and you get the answer for your critical angle. A step index fiber has a core of refractive index 1.466, cladding refractive index 1.46. If the operating wavelength of the rays is 0.85 micrometer, calculate the cutoff parameter and the number of modes which the fiber will support. The diameter of the core is 50 micrometer. Cutoff number B is equal to pi D upon lambda naught into under root n1 square minus n2 square. Here, what have we been given as 50, the diameter of the core. So its radius becomes half of 50, 25 micrometer. Lambda is 0.85 micrometer. Mu1 is 1.466 and mu2 is 1.46. Putting these values here in the expression, we get the answer for V number. The mean optical power launched into a 5 kilometer length of optical fiber is 120 microwatt and the mean optical power at receiver end is 4 microwatt. Calculate the loss in decibel through the fiber, signal attenuation per kilometer of the fiber. Decibel loss is equal to 10 log base 10 pi upon p naught, where pi is the input power equal to 120 microwatt. P naught is output power equal to 4 microwatt. So decibels overall becomes 10 log base 10 pi upon p naught. So we put the values of pi and p naught and we get the answer. Signal attenuation per kilometer of fiber is equal to decibel loss upon total length. That is 14.8 divided by 5. Number of modes is equal to V square upon 2. Explain dispersion and attenuation in optical fiber. The optical power after propagating through a 500 meter long fiber is reduced to 25% of its original value. Find the fiber loss in decibels per kilometer. Loss per kilometer in decibel is equal to 10 upon L log base 10 power output upon power input. So we put the mathematical values given to us in the numerical 25% into 1000 upon 500 and we get the answer. Laser. Calculate the population ratio of two states in helium neon laser that produces light of wavelength 6000 angstrom at 300 Kelvin. Population ratio N2 upon N1 is equal to E to the power of minus E2 minus E1 upon KT, where K is Boltzmann constant. E2 minus E1 is equal to H mu is equal to HC by lambda equal to 6.64 into 10 to the power of minus 34 into 3 into 10 to the power of 8 upon 6 into 10 to the power of minus 7. This gives us the mathematical value in terms of electron volt. I divide it by 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 19. K, I put the value of K and I put the value of T and I get N2 upon N1 equal to E to the power of minus 80. In a ruby laser, total number of chromium ions is 2.8 into 10 to the power of minus 19. If the laser emits radiations of wavelength 7, 1000 angstrom. Calculate the energy of the laser pulse. Energy of laser pulse is equal to 
total number of ions into energy of one photon. So it is equal to E is N H mu equal to H N H C by lambda. Frequency is equal to V is equal to F into lambda. So F is equal to C upon lambda. H is 6.62 into 10 to the power of minus 34 joule second. C is 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meter per second. Lambda is 7000 angstrom, which is equal to 7000 into 10 to the power of minus 10 meter. And N is equal to 2.8 into 10 to the power of 19. Putting these values, we get the value of energy. Calculate the energy and momentum of a photon of laser beam of wavelength 6328 angstrom. The energy of photon E equal to H mu is equal to HC upon lambda. Putting the numerical values here, we get E equal to 3.14 into 10 to the power of minus 19 joules. In terms of electron volt, I divide it by 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 19. And from the Broglie expression, lambda is equal to H upon P. I put the value of H and I put the value of lambda and I get the answer for P. A laser beam of wavelength 8 into 10 to the power of minus 7 meter and aperture 5 into 10 to the power of minus 3 meter is sent to moon. The distance of moon is 4 into 10 to the power of 5 kilometer from Earth. Calculate the angular spread of beam, the axial spread when it reaches the moon. If lambda is wavelength and D is diameter, then angular spread is given by lambda upon D. Lambda is equal to 8 into 10 to the power of minus 7 meter and D is 5 into 10 to the power of minus 3 meter. Putting these numerical values, I get my angular spread. The axial spread of beam when it reaches the moon after traversing a large distance is given by W is equal to L into del theta whole square. Putting L equal to 4 into 10 to the power of 5 kilometer, we get the value for W. Thank you. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel in order to receive a fully solved model paper before your exams. For any problems or suggestions, you can mail me at divyaghildeyal at the rate gmail.com or on my mobile number 9810320303. Thank you. Oh,